Hi, this is Derek Wazinski, Vice President of Sales for Zenbit. I wanted to go ahead and take a few brief moments to show you a little bit of the increased functionality we have with the latest version of Zenbit for Outlook. For current customers and people that are trialing Zenbit for Outlook, you'll notice that we have uh, the same basic functionality. If you have someone who sent you an email, you click into the Zenbit for Outlook pane and you can see whether they're not a person that's already in Salesforce or not. You can see um, both custom and standard objects. You can interact with custom and standard objects. You still have the activities where you can edit information within a particular object, file an email to it, add an event, so on and so forth. Some of the increased functionality you have with the new Zenbit for Outlook feature is, first of all, the ability to drill down a few levels into an object. So here in the um, previous versions of Zenbit for Outlook, you'd have the capability to look at this opportunity and then simply use the Actions button to edit it. Now we give you the capability to click on that opportunity, or in your case, case, or in your case, any particular object, to go ahead and drill down a level. And now you're able to work definitely just within this opportunity, adding different activities, logging different information, and look at any open activities that you currently have, either yourself or other people currently have. Because as you probably noticed, there's a, there's, a, there's a little icon here. This is a filtering icon. So now each one of our objects has the capability to filter. You can see here I can filter activities by my activities, other people's activities, the number of days, last modified date. As I go back, I can see those filters also exist for other objects. I can sort different opportunities. One, lost, sort by last modified, sort by creation. So that's some of the increased functionality we've included um, within the new version. You've also probably noticed the lightning bolt. That's a, uh, uh, that is our new quick file button. So you'll have the capability to quick file a particular email under any object just by simply clicking that particular um, that particular icon. So if I wanted to file this email under this particular object, which is the contact object, I would click there. I could click it under the account object, under the opportunity object, so on and so forth. You've also probably noticed um, there's some new icons here up at the top. I like to call these our lucky charms. Um, not so much that they're magically delicious, but what they really are is they increase the functionality of Zinbit um, immensely, and they allow you um, a, a, a much more robust doorway into Salesforce. So here I am within this particular email. I can simply click the email icon, and now I can file this email not so much just by the by the by the information I had within that particular window, the object. I can go to I can relate it to anything. If I needed to relate it to a case or an opportunity or a quote or something else. If I needed to relate it to a contact or a lead, I have full search capability. I have to be able to do that. And again, that's that's just by clicking that that one particular icon. I also, from this uh, from these lucky charms, I have the capability to create a new object that I have access to within Salesforce. So here, I just click the plus sign, and now I can create any object. So let's say I'm reading this email, and it reminds me that I had another call from someone. I need to create an opportunity for that. I could simply click that plus sign and create that opportunity um, right here. Now you can see I'm creating an opportunity that doesn't even have anything to do with this email, but I'm in Salesforce doing the work I need to do. And then this icon here, I simply go back and I hit the plus icon or the home icon and I can go back to the very beginning. Um, some of the other icons here, my open activities. I can take a look at all of my Salesforce activities within um, that are within Salesforce right now that don't have anything to do with GMX, don't have anything to do with this email. And because I have filtering capability, let me take a look at what's going on the next seven days for me. Again, these Lucky Charms, what they're doing is they're providing me greater functionality inside of Salesforce through Outlook. How about the ability to take a look at all my opportunities? So I can take a look at all of my opportunities, regardless of whether what email I'm in, and I can start doing things. I can edit, I can file emails, add events, log calls. I can also filter. So let me just take a look at my open opportunities. Or let me just take a look, let me sort by modified date. Or let me take a look at sort by creation date. 
And again, so this gives me a filtering capability that I can go ahead and use in order to access information within Salesforce that may or may not have anything to do with this particular email. And again, I just simply hit the home button and I'm back where I started. I also have some increased functionality when it comes to the um, when it comes to the tracking. You'll see we've added some buttons here where we can see the email opens that are tracked, the link clicks that are tracked, uh, Salesforce activities. There's a number of different func functions that are going to be incorporated here within this particular menu. So. Um, the long and the short of it is, is that functionality that you've grown to love within Zinbit is still there. You still have the capability to utilize it as you always have, but now we've given added functionality through the use of these functions, uh, through the use of these new icons and the use of these new functions. So uh, I hope this has been valuable for you. Again, it was a, a real quick demonstration of uh, everything that we've uh, went ahead and uh, and added to the feature. This new version will be released shortly. If you'd like to go ahead and test it for yourself, if you're a current customer or someone trialing, please feel free to uh, give me a call or shoot me an email. Thanks so much for your time. Uh, have a great, great day.